Hi, and thank you for tuning in to this short tutorial from Payrock. Today, I am going to show you how to run a sale and a refund using the virtual terminal within the Payrock Gateway Merchant Self-Care Portal. Let's jump right in. One of the most basic functions is what we call the virtual terminal. This allows you the ability to complete manual card transactions and refunds directly through your web browser. The virtual terminal is located in your main menu. As you can see, I have the option for sale or refund. Right now, we are going to run a credit card sale. This will take you to the main sale page. There are quite a few fields to fill out, however I see fit. And anything required is marked with an asterisk. The order ID is a unique identifier that will automatically populate for every transaction. I'm going to go ahead and enter in some customer information. I'll enter the amount first, and I have an optional description field. Anything input in this field will populate on the receipt. I'm going to leave payment type as card, and then input the card number. As I scroll down, I have the option for a cardholder name and an email address. If an email address is entered, they will receive a receipt. Supports credentials on file. By, click by clicking this checkbox, it simply is indicating the customer is okay or is authorized that this card can be stored on file in the future if needed. I can update the receipt language and even include a tip if needed. Now that everything is filled out, I'm gonna hit perform sale. All right, perfect. The transaction was approved and you can see all of the transaction information here. Here's that order ID that was mentioned earlier in the video, along with the unique reference. Both of these can be used to search transactions in the reporting tab and also used to submit refunds in the virtual terminal. So I scroll down, I see the terms and conditions. This text can be updated and changed in the settings of your self-care portal. I also have the option to print out a copy of the merchant or cardholder's receipt if needed. Additionally, if available, I can create a secure token right from the screen. Great, now that we have ran a successful transaction, I'm gonna select virtual terminal and now walk through a refund. In order to process a refund through the virtual terminal, you need either the order ID or the unique reference. If you don't have this information, it can be located in the reporting tab. If I enter something incorrectly, there will be a notification that pops up letting you know that no results have been found. I've entered the order ID and can simply click on it to open up the transaction details. In the amount to be refunded, I have the ability to enter the full amount or the partial amount. And then I need to put a reason why I am refunding this transaction. This field is required. Once I hit refund, a notification will pop up asking you to confirm the refund. I'm going to select OK, which directs me right to the reporting tab and open batch. It shows me the total amount of refunds for today. And if I click on all transactions, here is that receipt for the refund we just processed. I hope you found this tutorial useful and thanks again for watching.